Hello guys, Felipe Carvalho here. So I'm gonna be demonstrating those exercises I talked about on forums. On forums, uh, it's gonna be real quick, not so quick probably, but uh, let's begin. So starting off, I said that we're gonna be working on pitch regulation, intensity, and registration, and to begin by relaxing. How to do so? Uh, one of the best ways is to do controlled, timed breathing. So you can just relax and start to inhale and exhale and delay it. But don't hold it. Just mentally do it, uh, an effort to delay, to, to take more time to do it in this way. So. And let your body relax on the process. Uh, you can also yawn. <sighs> like this. <clears throat> it's very good for relaxation. Neck rolls are very good too. You could just do. And back. So, in any ways, uh, the point is, relax yourself before you begin doing it. It will make it more effective. Uh, so, let's go. I said also that tongue trios can be used, lip bubbles, uh, any of those exercises can be used as long as you can do it relaxed. <laughs> forcing your voice without a lot of effort behind it. So to begin, we just explore those coordinations. We're going to start by varying pitch, uh, not varying pitch, just exploring it, uh, you know, play around. And see what happens. Just pay attention on pitch, the control of pitch, then intensity. See what happens when you try to control intensity. Don't worry uh, when you're doing this, when you're exploring. Don't worry if you're breaking, if the pitch is not continuous. It doesn't matter. Uh, just play around. And registration. Registration can be a bit tricky, but it's kind of easy to find if you try to yodel. You know? Yodel! This, this change. Break your voice, let it flip, that's it. Oh, but it sounds awful. I don't care. It's not supposed to sound good. Uh, once you did this, then you begin playing around and <coughs> controlling it. For pitch, take a note on the low voice, ascend and then go down. If you break or if the intensity changes, no problem, but make sure that the pitch is controlled. So you're gonna do. but it breaks. No problem, let it break. If you, if you can do it, otherwise don't force, let it break. Then do the same with intensity. Begin low. explore other pitches, you know. This is 
ist ein Falsetto. See what happens. Don't worry if the pitch and the register is not controlled so far. Just go from soft to strong, like to soft. Play around with it. <clears throat> and finally, the register. All you're gonna do is just break. Back and forth. Intensity is changing, pitch is changing, but so far that's all that you need. And then work on, in, on the independent control. I first start saying to fix intensity and vary pitch. So you're gonna take uh, um, any level of intensity. Middle level is good for a start, so. allowing my voice to become much louder when I go high I'm trying to keep the same intensity level as I play around with pitch as I vary the pitch <clears throat> can do it softer and louder too Then I say fix pitch in very intensity, which is self-explanatory. This time I'm gonna make sure that the pitch stays the same and vary the intensity level. We can go. And change the pitch, do it on, on various uh, pitches so that you experiment with it and start to develop this independent control of them. Um, when you're doing this, because it's not a really very easy exercise and you try to go higher, for example, you may run into this. when your register breaks when you're trying to do it. Don't worry about it. By now, uh, 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 I mean, right now it's not important. Worry about the pitch should stay the same and intensity should vary. If the register changes, no problem. For now it's okay. And finally, you're gonna fix the register and vary the pitch. Uh, I mean, not finally, but now fix register and vary pitch. So you're gonna do it on full voice. <laughs> falsetto simple enough in this exercise no problem if you go louder and the only thing that you gotta make sure is that you stay on the same register don't let the flip happen this is very important uh, then fix register and very intensity intensity a really important exercise, you're gonna do the same thing that you did before, both on falsetto and full voice. I recommend starting on falsetto because uh, the control there will be more independent than if you start on full voice. It's easier to control it. So. Then on full voice and try to use the same coordination that you did on falsetto to increase the volume to control it. This is good.
then I say to fix the pitch and vary the register. Okay, this is kind of complicated. You need to be in the middle range, so around. In here. And the exercise is exactly what I was doing. Like. Flip, go back and flip again. If the intensity needs to change, as I was doing now, no problem. Then you're gonna fix intensity and vary the register, um, which is basically doing this. And also, the, the louder you are on the lower range to match the intensity, the, the higher your falsetto note will have to be. Otherwise, you're gonna be like. Instead of. Okay. Okay, nothing special about it. And that's it for the first part and these controls and then finally you're gonna mix everything together, fix the register, fix the pitch and vary intensity. Begin on falsetto. Why? Because intensity control on falsetto will be apart from another aspect that's very important. Do it relaxed, find your falsetto relaxed, fix a note, you, you need to use a rather high note in order to have more dynamic range, otherwise you'll be limited to very soft and varied. And pay attention, so it's gonna be like... <laughs> making sure that the pitch stays the same and that you don't switch back. Then go into full voice and do the same. <laughs> then I say fix the register and intensity and vary the pitch. It's almost the same as the previous exercise, but now I want you to be sure that you don't break. That's it. So I'm gonna fix intensity. And don't allow your voice to transition. And do the same on falsetto. You switch back. Don't let it switch back. Control on both registers. Try to stay uh, to fix intensity really. see that there's a lower limit you find it that's the point here a lower limit where you just don't have energy you don't have um, how to keep the intensity on the middle level anymore if you try to go lower which for me is rather around here I have to be very quiet to bring it lower than this so uh, find those things pay attention to it and finally fix the intensity and pitch and vary the register. This will pretty much make a smooth transition, but I want you to feel the transition. I don't want you to try to mask 
it for yourself. Fixing testing on the pitch. So, around here is probably a good idea to transition. If you can go that high with your full voice, lower the intensity before you begin the exercise. So, this will smooth the quality and you're gonna feel the change. That's a very good thing. Um, and that's it, that's it. I don't know how, how long it took, let me check it. 16 minutes and I'm explaining it, so don't take longer than that, really. It's not a point, it's not a point to make it a longer warm up. After that, you can do whatever you want, do humming to bring your voice more forward. Just to resonance and everything else. That you normally do but this is not supposed to be working on those aspects okay and I would really like to know uh, the feedback on what happens when you do it what do you feel if you ever work it in this manner before and how does it affect your singing um, should make you more aware of those aspects that's the point and being more aware you not have to struggle so much with some concepts um, because for example when you're working on the passaggio you're not supposed to let it flip and it will be a very strange coordination if you have to think about all that and also find out how to not let your voice flip while keeping a higher intensity or lower intensity you are in for a trip man it's gonna be very very problematic if you warm up like this even if you don't have the control right now, it will slowly develop. This is something that you can do with your larynx. It's not really uh, dependent on resonance and other stuff. Um, so just insist on it. Keep relaxed. Uh, if you're having trouble with the exercises, use a yawn posture inside it. <laughs> To relax your vocal track, direct and make it easier for you, for you to study. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you guys.